How do stars die? The life of a star is a cosmic tale of fire, pressure, and time. But like all stories, it must come to an end. Yet how a star dies depends on its size, its mass, and the delicate balance between gravity and fusion burning within. For small stars, like our Sun, the end comes slowly, gently, over billions of years. As their hydrogen fuel runs low, these stars swell into red giants, shedding their outer layers in spectacular glowing clouds called planetary nebulae. What's left behind is the hot, dense core, a white dwarf roughly the size of Earth but with a mass comparable to the Sun. It no longer burns fuel. It simply glows faintly with residual heat, slowly cooling over trillions of years until it becomes a cold, dark remnant known as a black dwarf, a stage the universe hasn't reached yet, as it's not old enough. But the fate of large stars is far more dramatic. When a massive star, at least eight times the mass of the Sun, runs out of fuel, it can no longer support itself against the crushing force of gravity. The core collapses in a violent implosion, triggering a cataclysmic explosion known as a supernova. In an instant, the star blasts its outer layers into space, outshining entire galaxies and forging heavy elements like gold, iron, and uranium. What remains after the blast depends again on mass, if the collapsing core is between about one, four and three times the mass of the Sun, it becomes a neutron star, an ultra-dense object packed so tightly that atoms collapse, leaving a sphere of neutrons just 20 kilometers wide, spinning rapidly and sometimes emitting beams of radiation like cosmic lighthouses called pulsars. If the core is even more massive, gravity overwhelms all resistance. Nothing, not even light, can escape its pull. It becomes a black hole, a region of space-time so warped that it creates a tear in the cosmic fabric. Yet even in death, stars give life. The material ejected in their final moments, carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, seeds the galaxy with the building blocks of new stars, planets, and even life itself. In a sense, stars do not simply die. They transform, contributing to the eternal cycle of cosmic rebirth. 